we have in Canada what's called a weak mayor system. So the mayor, theoretically, the mayor only has one vote, the same as a councillor. But we all know that in practice, it's not quite that simple. The mayor has a lot of power in terms of appointments. The mayor has a disproportionate power over staff. The mayor has, has disproportionate power over budget. There are many things that the mayor has more, more direct involvement, more, more control over. Well, the reality is in the Ontario Municipal Government Act does not really provide, and neither does the City of Toronto Act, provide for any reasonable way to get rid of a mayor. So the only way he's not going to be in office is if he resigns. They could, but they would have to pass a bunch of procedural motions. And some of this is happening already, as you probably yeah. know. John Fillion has, is about to propose a motion to restrict the mayor's ability to control who's on the executive committee. They can't stop him from going off to functions as the mayor. They can't stop him from going and speaking to provincial officials and this kind of stuff, right? Like they, There's no way that they can stop him from doing that. I still think that there should be a mechanism with a very high threshold, mind you, that council would have to have like an 80% vote to remove a mayor. So your question was, can the media, you know, will they, can, will they have a, an effect on him, a negative effect on him? Can they do that? And I'm not sure they can just by attacking him because these supporters have heard all the attacks and they're still there. Right? So maybe it's, maybe it is if it comes from their buddies, maybe it's different. I don't know. But I think it's more, it's more likely to happen if another right wing candidate emerges that the sun, particularly, and well, and the, and the radio people as well, that they can support and um, promote, then they will probably erode his base.